Hello once again, thank you for joining me in this beginner series of web design. Yes, you already have a website from the previous two videos that we did. I took you through domain, you know what you needed, you have a domain and you have a hosting. Now we've already gone to the next step where we have installed WordPress. WordPress is a content managed system that we use to design websites. It can be anything, it can be an organization, it can be a portfolio, it can be a shop, it can be anything, just name it. So this is a, this is a content management system that we use to do that. There is a free version, which is wordpress.org, that you can be able to do that. So it will be. But this one is a premium version, whereby you buy your domain and then you'll be able to get it installed using the cPanel as you have followed uh, with the steps that we have already done before. If you've not watched, please, I urge you to go back to those previous videos, watch it for a debrief, and then you can come join us in this one as we proceed. So I'm going to take you through the dashboard of WordPress so that you can be able to see what exactly is here in store for us. Um, previously, we saw how our website is. This is not exactly what we want to have. It's the beginner, it's the default installation. The theme is there, it's working as you can see, but it's not exactly communicating the image that you actually wanted to, to have. So, what do we do? I'm going to take you through this. Dashboard has everything. This is where you get the messages. This is where you get the information about um, your, your server. For example, it's telling me my PHP update needs to be, up, you know, I need to update my, my PHP, so I need to, you know, that's another thing. This is, you'll get all this information. Um, for now, we have this one. It will show you the site health. It will give you all the information, the version, you know. But for me, what I usually do when I come here, I just come to this screen options, and then I just untick all these things. I untick them so that I can be able to do that. I have a dashboard that is clean, I, it's not destructive, you know, when I do that, it's better for me. So what I do, here we have home, you, you'll be able to see home, this is the dashboard. If there is any updates, you'll be able to see them here. There, there'll be a notification with a, a quantity or number, maybe it is three updates that you need to work on. You can be able to update the WordPress version, now we are using 6.55 which is the latest version, you can be able to update plugins, so you can be able to update, update themes. So right now everything is up to uh, the latest version, so we cannot go to, you know, there's no notification, but when you start using WordPress, after a period of time, maybe months, weeks, you'll start getting this notification. So you should be always cautious. When you come here to updates, always know what you're updating, because if you don't update, you are running at a risk of you know, site hacking, you know, your security issues on your website, because that is how hackers get to penetrate your sites. You need to be able to be always up to date so that you can fix the bugs and, you know, those security issues there. The other thing is uh, we have posts and under posts we have categories and all those things. So I usually come to posts. Posts are usually when you look at a newspaper magazine. Um, websites that are doing news, they the post section are the news articles. So anything that you see as a news update on the website will come under posts. But you can be able to categorize it. That's why you have something called categories. So it can be like local news as a category. It can be international news as a category. It can be weather, it can be sports, it can be business. You'll create those categories here on this section. So that when you post an article, you can be able to tag it to a specific category and then work with it from there. I'm going to be showing you that when we talk about news posting and those kind of things. So what I usually do, I come to posts and then I just select it and then I move it to trash. I don't want anything. I just clean everything. I want clean start. When you come here next, we have uncategorized. This one, you can change it from the advanced settings. We're going to check it later. And then you have something called tags. This is what you can be able to put as tags here. Tags help you in something something that we call search engine optimization. So for example, your, your, your business is focused on, on, on uh, electrical devices. So you're going to be putting tags in terms of the terminologies of the products or services that are related to that business that you're operating in. 
So you cannot be able to put, uh, for example, uh, uh, what we call a mechanical equipment as a tag when you're talking about elect electrical equipment, right? You cannot be able to put, uh, not unless you're writing an article that is related to that particular, particular thing. So for example, you're writing an article about uh, Africa, you cannot start putting tags as Asia, as, as China, you know? Not unless China and Asia are part of the content of that particular article. So you'll put tags here so that you can be able to, to help in search engine optimization. Search engine optimization is what helps you to rank better on Google so that when people search you, you can be able to appear more frequently. And we'll learn that in the advanced section. The next one is media. Media, this is where you put images, files, like photos, videos, and, and, and PDF documents, and you know, logos, this is where it comes and they directly store them in the file manager. As you saw from the previous videos that I said, we have file manager, so this is where you put images, yani your, your media. This, so this is where you put your media files. Um, next one, you have pages. So pages is what you have. You know, when you go to any website, you will see there is something called uh, the menu, menu bar on top. So pages, this is where you have, the same way like what we said, posts, now we have the next one, which is pages. So Posts are under the pages. So for example, you have the about us section. Every website, most of the websites have the about us section. So here you have to put something called the about us as a page. So that when you go and peruse, click on it, you're opening that page. You're, you're leaving the home page, you're going to the about us page. You're going to the services page. You're going to the contact page. You're going to other things. So. That is what we call pages, and they, they, they usually come. You, this is why you have to come and add them here. I will show you them. So what I do, I usually come and just clean this because it's not helping me. The next one is comments. Any posts that you do, any blog post that you're doing, remember that if you have your comments open, people are commenting, all the comments will be appearing over here. The next one you have is appearances. So appearances, you'll be able to see themes, which themes are you running on right now? So the theme that you see, which is currently here, the default theme that came here, is what we are having here, it is active. So it is 2024, customize, you can customize it. If you feel like this is not what you want, you can come, for example, and activate this other one, 2022. So that when you custom, when you update it, and then you see, it will automatically change the design. So the design has changed from the previous one, to this other one. So you can be able, so this is where you have the themes and this is where customization comes at play. So we learn more about that in in few videos that are coming ahead. And then the next one is have, we have plugins. Plugins, this is where you have those plugins that help you to customize. I'll explain it practically. Right now just know that WordPress has plugins and plugins helps with user experience and also the development part of it. Okay, so the next one you have is, uh, so we have plugins, I said everything we are deleting, so we are deleting this one as well. We don't, actually we cannot delete without, okay, yeah, we can delete it. So we have to delete it, and they are there, okay? Then the next one you have user. So user, this is where you have, uh, you remember when you were installing this, the cPanel, we created this as the user, the one that we saved in this WordPress, you see, the user. This is the, what we call the super admin. So here, now we have only one user. Remember, you can add more users. So now that we have here, you can be able to add more users just by coming here, select add, and then you can be able to put the emails, the name, and then also select the role that those people will be playing. Are they contributors? Are they authors? Are they sub uh, editors? Or are they also administrator? So a super admin can do that. So this is settings, you can do multiple changes on these settings, as you can see. But the one that I like working on is what we call permalinks. Permalinks, I don't like having this. I like putting it on post name. When I put it on post name, for example, it will be siha.so slash the name of that post. So the headline or the title that I put on that post is the one that's going to be coming here. But if I put it on, you know, custom structure, it will be giving me challenges. So it will be, you know, siha.so slash the date, then slash, you know, it's not good. So I put post name. This is 
Very good. So these are the settings that I usually come and do before I start working on that particular WordPress project. I'm going to be now moving to the next level in the next episode where we, whereby we'll be looking at now the design, how to now install a design, how to work with designs, and then that's it. See you in the next episode.